Hey, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of Necropolis with your host, Release the Wolf. Last time we managed to make it to the end of level two. We uh, managed to accomplish a couple favors. We have like a million fucking things. Like we're doing really good on this first uh, on this first challenge run, I guess, or berserker run is the way I want to put it. And if we keep unlocking books that make the game more interesting or more difficult or stuff like that, I would really, really like to continue doing challenge runs like this. So anyway, I've gotten a new coffee. Things should be okay. That looks like a fun time down there. We'll see what the outcome... Like, did anyone else notice that there's, like, that one shield dude? And, like, a bunch of horde men running around trying to, like, kill people? Yeah, we'll see how that works out. Okay, smash scampering spiders and exterminate vermin are our two new favor things here. Do we need to open up the favor chest? No, we are not behind. So let's not waste favor that we don't necessarily need to waste yet. On a run that doesn't need to... Necessarily end? I mean, we could eat one of our rations now, and I don't see why we shouldn't, actually, now that I've done this. Ooh, sneaky. Did you see that ninja runaway? Okay, good stuff right there. Chop it. Oh, he's not dead. He's dead now. Okay. There are a lot of people here. Okay, he's got an arcane spike for us that we would maybe like to pick up. I'm not sure how badly we'd like to pick it up. Just keep moving around. There's another dude with an arcane spike behind us. That's good. Okay, good shit right there. Going for that extra heavy attack. Good stuff. Okay, he's dead. Now we just got this asshole to worry about. Going for the extra heavy attack again. Oh! That had to hoit. Alright, so we're doing fine on that front. Now, do we want the arcane spike over the mundane weapon here? I'm not sure. And the reason why I'm not sure is because although the arcane spike is good... Oh, careful. Although the arcane spike is good, it's also not good enough. Okay, the Ilnark Longsword... It's a, it's, it's a fucking gimmick. Don't, don't pick it up. There's not enough stuff that does cold damage to really... Oh my fuck. Okay, bones. Okay, you know what? Gem eater. Think gem eater instead. Okay, we are gonna want this, uh... We are gonna want this, uh, arcane spike specifically for this section here. Because the arcane spike has slightly longer range, which means we can actually hit him from farther away. Oh! Why did I do that? Cancel it. Good shit. One thing I really like about the black guard is that they can kind of cancel most of their attacks mid-attack, which is really nice. Okay, good shit. Oh, it's not gonna hit. Okay, we can't do that. Why did I do that? Don't do not do what I just did. Good shit, we killed him. Okay, so you know what? We're gonna keep the Arcane Spike. This is a good plan. The Penitents and the Petitioner saw aid from Abraxas. Line stretched for miles outside the naval award. Uh, the world, sorry. What a bunch of whiners. <laughs> Alright, so up here we're gonna find some decent stuff. We got uh, some Iron Rations, which are nice. And we, honestly, we didn't lose a lot of stamina there. We played it safe. We did well. Uh, we are still gonna keep this Fire Axe with us. And we are going to roll with this uh, with this, with this this build the way that it is. Okay, tier 3 shield. We already have that tier 3 shield. It's really good. And, yeah, it looks like the Horde men lost that particular fight by the look of things. Ooh, good hit. So one reason why this Arcane Spike is a good pickup for us. One, it does well against Gem Eaters. Two, it's got a good swinging arc and allows us to kind of deal with people from a good distance. It's got great reach. Um, oh, speaking of great reach, hey, buddy. So he's got a mundane great sword that's uh, a tempting idea. Oh, shit. But we have to, like, not die against them. That's important. Okay, good. Okay, we took some damage off that skelly. We should not have. Okay, we took some damage off that guy as well. Look, back off. Re regroup. Okay, start going for it now. Get one kill, get the other kill. Good shit. Honestly, one thing I'm learning is just don't be afraid. <gasps> Shit, no, wrong potion! Oh, it looked exactly like the potion of vigor. I feel real dumb. That was not the right situation to use, like, the world's best potion in the game. Anyway, well, we're back up to full at least, so there's that going for us. Uh, look on the bright side, right? And at least we know what color it is. It's the dark pearl. Oh, God! Hi, you shit, shit bird. Okay. So, rat thief... Not, not that we have a lot to steal right now, but, you know, Rat Thief, it exists. Okay, back off. Take it easy. We've got a bunch of people in the swamps that are weak to fire, so, you know, kill them, I guess. If only we had a slightly stronger fire weapon, we'd be maybe better off here. Uh, we should be okay. I don't foresee us having a bad problem. Oh, dodge the barf-inducing badness. That's almost killed me a couple of times. Like, ever since, like I, I did a couple of runs in between the last run and... Ooh, hello! In between the last run and this run, and honestly, that barf stuff almost got me once. Like, it was real bad. I was almost embarrassed. But uh, it didn't end up happening, and we should be fine here. 
Ooh. What's sad though is that I haven't really won more than one run out of the three that I've tried since, uh, or the three that I've had the time to play since I kind of started uh, practicing. I guess is the way of putting it. Ooh, good kill, good kill. Every bit of vermin that we kill is a you know a, a mark towards favor that we could use. Okay, we just need to kill this guy easy. Not hard when you got fire. Okay, go after this jerk, and he dead. Dodge the barf. This guy should be easy. One hit, one kill. Yep. Because fire's good against that shit, I heard. Same against this guy. Oh, he's dodging like the dogs do. Now he's dead like the dogs are. Okay, pick up the solar. And my solar. I mean, oh my god. Okay. So we got a dude in the back. The instant he does his attack again, we'll, uh, we'll chase after him and power attack him into the ground. That's kind of what you have to do. Yep, there it is. Okay, so he's teleporting. That's fine. Boink, and he's dead. Like, you you have to go after him that hard. Now, do these guys like Arcane? Uh, I don't think he's really phased by it, to be honest with you. So we're going to go with Fire again. Yep, yeah, and he's dead. Good stuff. So he's got a bomb for us. And a level 2 mundane weapon. Ooh. I mean, I don't think we pick it up. Like, it's not good enough. Uh, also, what did we just swap out? Sorry. What, what's that potion? It's a potion of vigor. And what did we pick up? An unknown potion. You know what? We'll eat a standard ration, keep the potion of vigor, and keep going. Like six standards of like six standard rations is maybe a bit much. <laughs> just a touch. Uh, over here, is that another potion of vigor? Oh, maybe if it is. It is. All right. Yeah, we will swap out uh, that shit for that shit. We'll immediately pick up our fire axe again and keep going. Like the fire axe is so good. Against the right characters, it, it means that you, like, end up killing them a lot faster. And that against the Grix, cannot be overstated. You really do need, like, fire or bashing to deal with the Grix early on. The Grix being the the, the, the red crystal -y dudes. Come on. There we go. He's done. And honestly, I could be talking about other things. So, today, I ended up working with, like, really little kids. And it astounds me to think just how little kids think sometimes. Like, they're on point, though, most of the time. Like, when I think little kids are, uh... When I think of little kids and how they... And, you know, how they look at the world and all that stuff, they are far more nuanced than you would ever give them credit. Is the hatchet or the berserker's axe better? Yeah, the berserker axe is better. Um, pass on scene elixir, huh? You know what? Let's use this bomb. Just toss the bomb. Boom. Good shit. Alright, pick this up and keep going. So... The cool thing about little kids is that, honestly, they, um, they're curious about almost anything. Like, especially, like, five-year-olds are like, man, we saw a spider! And then some of them will be, like, super grossed out, sure. But every single one of those kids is going to be absolutely fascinated by the spider that they just found. Or if you, like, they find a tree, it's like, sir, there's thorns on this tree. And you're like, well, yeah, man. It's a, it's a hawthorn tree. Have you never seen one before? Well, the answer is no. They didn't know it was called a hawthorn tree. And yeah, it's been in their uh, schoolyard for the past, like, you know, four weeks. But, like, damn, man. They, they're they so excited to figure out for, like, the umpteenth time that it's uh, a flippin', flippin' hawthorn tree. Oh, shit. That could have been bad. Oh, he dodged that shit in the wrong way. Okay, run. This is too much bad stuff. Like, we are getting surrounded. This needs to stop. Run. Okay. What are we dealing with here? Do we have any potions that we can use? No. Okay. Swap to this. Oh, you were too early. Too early. Too early. Okay. Now go for it. Good stuff. Go for the Berserker's Axe. Whoa. Good shit right there. We kill off the Gem Eater. Kill off those two guys as well. Nice. Nice stuff. Anyway, so you're talking to these kids, they're fucking fascinated by the, like, the tiniest things, and they absolutely love it. And you know what? I love that about tiny kids. I might not understand a lot about the tiny kids, because tiny kids are, you know, fucking terrifying to me. I, I don't, <laughs> like, they don't make sense. It's like, Jimmy won't be my friend. Okay, so just do your own thing. You know, like, friends come and go. <laughs> you know, the, the world is a, the world is a horrible, scary place, and nothing ever really matters when you get down to it. And honestly, if you just get used to the idea of people leaving you, then in the end, life will be a lot easier for you anyway. They just kind of look at you and they're like, but he doesn't want to be my friend. Well, I don't know I don't know how to help you. Like, I don't know at all how to help you at that point. What's this potion? Let's find out. So it's a rank two potion, so it can't be bad. You feel healthier. That 
tells me that it is Epipop, Ep Elifoff's mystical whatever. It's it's the Healy Dealy one, and that's fine. All right, going over here, we got a Ratman. Hello, Ratman. I hear a second Ratman. Oh, knocking him down was good shit right there. Ooh, then he's dead. The, he counts as vermin. No wonder they pop up so much. Holy shit, they count as rats? And I mean like rats, and not like actual bad guys, but like vermin? Damn, man. No wonder they pop up as much as they do. That spawn rate's high. Alright. And if you're unlucky with the rolls, instead of getting a bunch of red dudes, you just get a bunch of fucking rats and it's just like the worst thing on the planet. Alright, there's so much stuff on the ground. I would like to pick it up. It's just not going to let me. Okay. Whatever game. Whatever. I see how it is. You're going to taunt me. You're going to make my morale like drop like a stone? That's fine. That's fine. I'll deal with that shit. I'll deal with that shit the same way that I deal with uh, with people that I do business with. Cordially and with a, lot, a great deal of respect. Because if anybody's in a business situation, then that's what they deserve. Okay. Please don't be trapped. It is not booby chapped, that is a good change of pace. Alright, so another potion of vigor. Um You know what? I think we eat another standard ration. We're up to the point now where honestly standard rations are not gonna do the trick if we need healing. And we're not using a lot of stamina to kill these guys. So we haven't gotten into a situation where we need to um You know Ooh, there we go, that's one dead. Almost got the eight vermin, I mean, by the way. That's always nice. But we're not in a situation yet where we're doing power attacks is, like, necessary. Like, a lot of gem eaters, doing power attacks just slows you down. Or, it, like, forces you to have to eat stuff and use resources that you don't necessarily want to use. And if you can afford not using them, then sweet. But at the same time, I'm worried about going too slow. Isn't that interesting? The, uh, Gricks are not fans of the, uh, Shell Dudes. The Shell Dudes got purpled. Okay, that's fine. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do this. I'm not sure how much that work that did for us, but it's knocking them down, so like, you know, that can't be all that bad. Okay, that's fine. Whatever, dog. Kill him. Go after this guy, dodge his shit, go back in, go for that heavy attack, swing, bada bada, and that's gonna be an easy kill. Okay. So we got this guy hiding out in the rock. Yeah, he hopefully fell through the level. I never have to see or hear from him again. Nope, he did not. That's fine. Oh, there's a vermin right there. Good shit. It's done. Don't worry, there are many more things to do. That's fine. I don't mind there being many more things to do. Just as long as... Oh, come on. Would you just get out of there? Or die. Dying's good, too. He gives us crystals when he dies. What a good time to be alive. Anyway, so this is this is going... This run's going fine. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about this run right now because we're not really in a bad situation. We're just kind of going around pimp slapping shit with an axe that keeps knocking people down. Like, we got extremely lucky on that first level to find this axe. On top of that, we got a second, uh, we got another favor or other job of, you know, smashing spiders or drinking potions is going to e be easy to do. Ooh, okay. Well, there are the spiders. Uh, a pass on scene, Alexer. Might not be the worst move. You know what, we're going to drink this right here right now. Good stuff, so that was an easy one to do. We're going to kill this guy. Oh shit, we got stuck on a web? I didn't even see that shit. In the water, that's dangerous. Okay, kill him. And kill these guys. Shouldn't be too hard. One. Good, good, good. Easy, easy kills on those spiders. That's all I ever wanted was easy kills on medium-sized spiders. Okay. Hello, doggy. Good use of a potion. Got some favor out of it as well. You can't really ask for much more than that. Anyway, like this runs a cakewalk at the moment. It's not difficult. You just need to play smart and you're fine, right? Okay, ow. We got pushed back. That, that was not very nice. Okay. I would like to uh, deal with these spires in a way that I consider, you know, not prohibitive. That is prohibitive. Oh my god, that hurt. Okay, good. It's another spider down. Deal with this medium-sized spider, and now he's dead. Okay, hello. What are you doing here? Block it. Oh, shit, we didn't block it. We might want to drink a potion of vigor. Yeah, right about now. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, little bit of uh, regen all over the place. I could use a little bit more HP, but that's what the other Epiphos Mystical Boom is for. So let's go ahead and drink that business. Yeah, buddy. Okay. 
What I would like right now is some armor that, like, tanks us up. Like, plate mail would be really good. That would be... If I had to ask for anything on this run, plate mail. Plate mail would be nice. We are almost, like, we're at the early mid-game now. Considering there's, like, eight real levels, and then the ninth level is effectively the bomb... Like, the, the, the boss level. So, we're getting to, like, the midway point of this game. And I would very much like to have a little bit more oomph behind my HP. Like, the, we could, we're going to be able to buy the Blessing once we get to the end of this level. There's no question about that. We have 2,800. Are we going to be able to buy two Blessings? No. There's no way in hell. But at the same time, we will definitely be able to buy at least one. And I would like to. This would be good. Oh my god, Spider, you suck. The Horseman just, like, ran away. What a dick. I was really expecting him to kind of go harder on us. He did not. Is Spider chasing us? There's so many Spiders. Okay, the extra knockback every time we get hit on that ax on that axe is maybe a little bit detrimental to our health. What is that spider doing? Okay, we're gonna need to be careful here. I would like to make the right choices, and I'm a little bit confused as to what this guy's doing. He's being very unpredictable, and I don't like it. Boink, knock him on the ground, then kill. Good shit. That's fine. Okay, this is this dude chilling out in the rocks. Okay, back off. Get your stand back. Go back in there. Chop him up. He's dead. Good stuff. Nice. We did it, team. Woohoo. Um, do we have another potion of vigor? We do. Uh, is that a secret? No. Neither of those are. One of these days, I would like to find some secrets. We have not found one. And usually, secret rooms are really good when you find them because they tend to give you some really good chests. I just haven't found any yet. There are some rooms that we passed by that had the potential, but we just didn't find the way to unlock them. That's one thing that I'm a little bit annoyed about uh, on this run so far, but... Okay. Okay, there's a sniper. Run. There's too much. There's too much. There's too much. Back off. Grab the potion of vigor. Drink it. Maybe bring out this uh, extra long range business that knocks people down all over the place. Does a decent amount of damage. You know, that, that kind of weapon. I would like to kill both of these guys. There we go. Okay. So now we just have to worry about this guy and then the sniper behind him. That should almost kill him. There we go. Okay. The sniper is a little bit scarier because he's a he's a fast laser shooting dude. But uh, he only has a tier 2 buckler. So, you know what? We're going to swap it out for the tier 1 buckler we have. But honestly, it's not going to be a really big deal for us. The, the tier 3 buckler is still like the best thing we could possibly find right now. And if we don't have that, then... Like, if we find a different Tier 3 Buckler, then we'll probably, like, just, you know, use that. Because at that point, um, you know, using the Shield Bash with the uh, Bounce Back Buckler, the, the Whaler's Buckler, the, 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 this one, the white one, it just means that we push stuff farther away. And if we push stuff farther away, well, we don't get to kill them as easily. Is that the end of the level? It is. Alright, so you know what? If it's the end of the level, just use this immediately. It's not gonna matter. We do know that those blue ones, however... I think our HP. I, like, I think that it's tied to color. I'm not positive, but I think it is. Okay, open this business. Alright, we should be able to get one blessing on. That that should be what we need. Uh, do we have this uh, thing identified? We do not. It might be worth finding the dude getting this identified, because if we know it's a healing scroll, that could save us in a situation or two. Alright, so there's our HP. HP's looking alright. Um, it'd be, again, higher if we didn't have the Berserking Book. Much higher if we didn't have the Berserking Book. But, um, it'd be even higher still if we had, like, a reasonable suit of armor. Okay, is the dude up here? Might as well walk all the way upstairs. I hear him. I think he's up here. Yeah, there he is. Hey, bud. How's it going? Okay, while we're here, do you mind giving me one of these? And, what's this? Both his cutter? Bash weapon? We don't need it. Potion of Vigor would be nice. Um, let's go ahead and use this scroll of identification. Find out what the, uh, thing is. Scroll of Boom. Okay, well now we figured out that it's a scroll of Boom. It's just kind of bad. We're probably going to use it at our first convenience, because honestly, it's just not good. It's, it's one of the worst scrolls I've ever had the displeasure of having to use. And figure out that, oh, hey, it's bad, despite the name sounding like a lot of fun. Another sip of my coffee. Let's come clean, the Necropolis feeds on the souls of dead adventurers. This tells us that we are now officially in the middle of the game. Congratulations us, we did it. Um, there are some Gricks. There are some Winter Levels. Uh, we are probably feeling a little bit lackluster without some armor. So you know what? We are going to try here to open this up. See if we get some armor, which is like one of the few things we really need. 
And that's not what we get. We get a tier 2 mundane fucking sword. Um, you know, we are going to grab it. It's, it's, it's maybe slightly better for us than the pike is. But I do mean only slightly better. Uh, from here, though, I think that we're going to wait until the next episode to really get started with this level. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit that like button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video, where we're going to start tackling level 4.